Well, tensions in the Middle East continue to fuel protests on college campuses in the U.S. Today, lawmakers addressed the demonstrations with an anti-Semitism awareness bill. The bill aimed at uh, addressing anti-Semitism on college campuses has since cleared the House panel. A week after nearly 50 pro-Palestinian protesters were arrested at Yale University, protesters stood face to face with police officers again. Fox's Chelsea Torres is live from Yale now where the standoff unfolded. Chelsea, what happened? Christine, it's a completely different scene now than it was earlier this morning. Just after sunrise, Yale police officers and admin had forced out protesters from their encampment that was right in front of the Sterling Memorial Library. Protesters took their signs and they came right where I'm standing now onto the sidewalk as the police had put caution tape in, around this entire lawn. A New Haven police officer did tell the Yale newspaper that if any protesters stepped foot past the caution tape, they would be arrested. Arrested. This week, the encampment grew with over 50 tents hanging signs that say Free Palestine and All Eyes on Gaza. When police forced protesters to move, tents and belongings were left behind. Protesters then faced off with police from behind the tape as officers and Yale staff cleaned up the encampment. A New Haven police officer told protesters they could not go back on campus until everything was cleared. For two hours, you could hear protesters chanting and singing from several blocks away. Shortly after this announcement, protesters left. Yale groundskeepers power washed the chalky sidewalks and walls the protesters had written on. Police took down the caution tape. I did speak to one student who didn't want to go on camera, but they say they expected the protesters to be pushed out. What, exactly what the administration wanted. I, I also hope it's not the end of the movement because I do think the, the, there are very reasonable requests and it does feel like the administration has not adequately addressed those. Now, Yale does say that they support peaceful protests and freedom of speech, but posters, tents, and even writing on sidewalks were in violation of the university's outdoor policies. As for the protesters themselves, I've been checking their social media sites, and as of right now, do they, they do not have any announcements of when they'll be back out or what their next plan is, but when I did hear them this morning and talk to them this morning, they did say that they would be back. In New Haven, Connecticut, Chelsea Torres, Fox 5 News. All right, Chelsea, uh, thanks for keeping us updated from there.